recording in front of you. Okay, so just starting with a little standing. As I said, we want to think about just if you have a magic circle, have your magic circle. Right. Yep. Okay. And we'll I will give you a side view. We want to be connected into our core, really nicely connected from the arches of the feet, pulling up the kneecaps, everything sorted out. Find your horizon line. Yeah, see that horizon reaching there. And then just take a nice breath in and breath out. Just center yourself, feeling the spine getting longer. Go ahead and get those fingertips to the side so we can open those shoulders nicely. Feel the shoulder blades slide down. Keep that breastbone down so we're keeping that strong into the front as we lengthen to the back. Pubis comes forward and we feel that nice strong line in the front. Beautiful. Just do a roll, roll down here and then we will go ahead with our circle. Nodding the chin, soften the knees, rounding over. Try to keep the hips over the heels so you don't want to be... Um, Leaning back into that, you're going to keep that over, hanging over that beach ball. Take a nice breath into the back, shake up that head, neck, shoulders, and then exhaling to come back up, soften those knees, drop that tailbone, pull up those kneecaps, and reaching up. Let's go again, two more. And float through the spine, zipping, inhaling into the back, and exhaling to come back up. And again, draw that chin in, scooping into the belly, reaching over that waist, breathing into the back, take that nice and deep, all the way up. Ah, I should feel nice and open now. Let's grab our circles. Okay, so we're gonna go those nice lifts and lowers. Let's put the heels together, toes apart, squeezing into the glutes. Send those fingertips long, draw the belly in, and then pulse into the heel of the hand, sending the fingers long as we just pulse up. Say about eight to 10 pulses. Just get it past your eye line to just frame your cheeks, breathing in there. And same thing with your percussive breathing as you breathe out and you pulse down. So imagining you're doing like your 100 breathing, but breathing to a count of eight to 10. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, and then up for eight, seven, six, five. Hold, inhale slowly, draw the shoulder blades down, and exhaling down. Inhale, shoulder blades down, pulsing into the chest, and pulse up. Feel those arms along. Don't bend those elbows, pulsing from the chest and the back. Reaching up, shoulder blades down, inhale and down. Breathing in. Let's go one more time up. Waking up those lungs, waking up the chest, waking up the abs, back muscles. Beautiful, and rest. Shake out those arms, you can feel those arms and shoulders. Take the circle behind us, draw the belly in, you're just sort of at, a, at an angle there. You send those fingertips back, open the chest and the shoulders, and strip the tummy in, and pulse those heels of the hands. Now you can't really press and squeeze, but you want it in tension. Make sure it doesn't touch your bum. Reaching back, zipping up, and rest. Ooh. And again, zipping up, lengthen through the fingertips, open through the chest, and pulse. Two. Keep squeezing those heels together, opening the eye line, lifting the eye line, opening the chin, opening the breastbone, pulsing for all eight to ten. Feel those triceps in the back. Draw the rib cage down. Drop the chin and reach the eye line to the horizon. Back of the neck is long. Breathing in, extending into the arms, lengthen those fingertips, open the chin, the eye line lifts, and pulse again for eight. Keep drawing the pubic bone forward and feel that chest open. Draw the fingertips down and back, feeling the back connect, lengthening through the crown. Beautiful, and releasing that down, zipping up into the tummy. 
Let's go one more, reaching, opening that eye line, opening the chin, breastbone, draw the tummy in. And releasing that. Beautiful. Release the circle and just roll those shoulders. Rolling those shoulders over in the other direction. Very nice. Okay, we're going to do another roll. Now hold your circle in your hands. Just going to drop the, the screen for a little bit for us to do with the circle in hand. So lift the circle up. You're going to round over and bring the feet to parallel. Round over, soften the knees. We're going to take the circle down onto the floor, tucking the chin on the mat, and you're going to inhale there and press into the circle as you breathe into the rib cage. Hold it there and exhale. Make sure the shoulders are away from your ears. Hold it there and exhale, deepening the abdominals. Now inhale to lift the spine to the ceiling, keeping that curve. And exhale to draw the ribcage in, draw the belly up and press down into the arms. Feel the armpits pressing down. And inhale to lift, keep tucking that chin in, looking for the tummy. And exhale to press, just soft to those knees, unless you can get them really extended, but don't, don't do that yet if you can't. You find it's difficult, leave it out, don't force it because I don't want you moving to, uh, um, I keep, don't want you to keep rounding into the lower back, okay? I want you to keep that rounding into the lower back, rounding all the way to the crown of the head, from the tailbone, pressing down. Feel an energy into the sides of those feet, legs, so that you feel, you can do this even if you don't have a circle, you can do it with a ball or just with your fingertips, lifting, imagining you have that resistance, pressing, scooping, Beautiful. And this time we're going to change that around slightly. We're going to press down again, exhaling. Now this time on the inhale, I want you to open the chin, open the chest, slide the shoulder blades down and stick the tailbone out to come into a flat back. Nice flat back. You'll press there. The inhale lifts the circle. So same flat back and exhale, press. Same long flat back. Inhale, lift, big stretch into those bumps and hamstrings, press with the exhale, long tail to crown. Inhale, lifting, breathing into the sides, draw the belly up, exhale, press. Feel the energy in the sides of the legs, feel that space for the sacrum, feel the pelvis stretching apart. Inhale, let's go one, two more, one more after this one, pressing down, feel the spine long. Inhale to lift. One more, press down, press down, feel that stretch, hold and inhale there. On the exhale, draw the chin in, round the back, round the tailbone, soften the knees. Inhale again there, and this time lengthening up through the kneecaps, lifting the circle and coming all the way up to stand up tall. Just take those arms up to the ceiling, Eyes on your horizon, lifting up onto the balls of the feet, feeling that nice and strong. Bring those heels back down, bring the arms in front of you. Feel the arms, feel the chest, feel the back. Lift again onto the balls of the feet, lifting those arms to the ceiling and then reaching down through the feet. Really feel that you're working through your feet. Open those toes and lift and reaching up. Shoulders are working, back is working. Lengthen through the crown of the head and work through those calves, those feet, coming all the way back down. Let's go two more here. Lifting, definitely feeling those shoulders as well. Whole core of the body is on that center line. Keep that chest nice and open. If you wanna do your arms like this to keep the chest even more open, you can as well. It's not as much of a lever on the circle, so it's a little bit less tension on the shoulders if this is easier for you. The longer the lever, the more difficult it is on the shoulders, obviously, the more work it is. So you can choose. And down, beautiful. And then lower those arms. Whoa, shoulders. Can you feel that? Awesome stuff. So that's our standing section for the class. We're going to come onto the mat now. 